Do you have multiple scenes or scene collections in OBS and you want to use multiple alert variations? How can you do that? I will explain how you can do that in OBS. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before we begin, I stream every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. So in this video I'm going to explain how you can set up multiple alert variations for multiple scenes or for multiple scene collections. But not only that, I'm also going to explain the basics of setting up alerts. Shout out to Chimity who asked me to make a video about different alert variations for different scenes. If you have a question about streaming or have an idea that I can make a video about, leave it down below in the comments and maybe I will make a video about it. First of all, we need to go to streamelements.com and log in with our Twitch account. On the left side, you will find my overlays. I've noticed that sometimes this menu looks a little bit different. Mine does look like this, but on my other PC, it looked like this. We click on the My Overlay tab. Here you can see all the overlays I have made, and I've made a ton. <laughs> and the top right, you can create a blank overlay. Name this overlay and make sure that it's on 1080p. Then just submit it. It has a period here on the left that you can click on the little pencil icon. This will bring you to the overlay editor. Here you can add an alert box. Therefore we need to go to the widgets tab. Here you need to search for the alert box under stream alerts and click on add. Now you have this box where the alerts will appear in. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want. You can see the exact size at the top right of the box. On the left here you can see which alerts are on right now. If you want to turn off alerts, just untick them. If you want to see a more in-depth video about how to set up the follow alerts and the host alerts and everything like that and how to make it look nice, I have another video about that in the card above. So assuming that you have set your custom follow alert and everything like that in here, what we can do now is click outside the box and copy this link. We can post this in OBS itself. You can do that by going to sources and click on the plus icon and then click on browser. Make sure to add a name and click on OK. Paste the URL here and set it on 1920 times 1080. Remove this part and click on OK. If you want to see if it works, go to this bell icon, hover over it and click on one of these things like follow and it will show you how it looks like and it will also play out in OBS. So now we have one overlay for one scene or you can use this for all your scenes and all your scene collections. But what if we want a new overlay for another scene or scene collection? We go back out of this one, leave the page, if you haven't saved it yet, save it, and then create another blank overlay. So we call this overlay 2. And now we can click on the pencil again and basically do the same thing. We go to widgets and add an alert box. We can set it wherever we want and just can tick all the things we want in here and we can change them. We can basically do this as much as we want with as many overlays as we want for as many scenes as we want. Or we can just use one for multiple scenes by just adding it as a browser source in multiple scenes. This is how you make multiple alert variations for different scenes or scene collections. If you want to know how you can make a shoutout command on stream elements, check out this video and I will see you there. 